I was really interested in what you said about uh, the NIH funding. Yeah. Um, why are you so critical of that? And what do you think the NIH? I'm not critical. Be doing? I think they're they're serving a wonderful purpose. I just see a mission drift that I think is deeply concerning. I think the focus of the NIH has been basic discovery, mm -hmm. and I think they've been very effective and good at that. And my view is that they ought to focus um, that amount of money that has been allocated um, uh, um, by the public to basic discovery. They should focus on that as opposed to trying to get into a business, namely drug discovery, that is not really something that they have any real experience with. I think it's a tricky business, as you heard on the panel. And uh, for the NIH to get into that now, I think it's a very bad idea, because I think it takes away the diversity of ideas and the type of research we could be doing at a slightly higher risk, it becomes more research that is measured based on metrics of how many molecules go to the clinic. And I think that on the long term is going to strangle innovation and not, and not advance it. So they should really be funding the high risk? They should be fund yes, they should be funding high risk things and things that, we, that, we, um, uh, that are much more exploratory. Um, because where I think the exciting science is going to come from is from rocks that we haven't turned over yet. And if we turn the NIH into a drug development organization, we most certainly um, are not going to be doing much. And I think that's a deep concern to me. So you've got academia on one side, NIH. So what is biotech's role? Biotech's role is to understand how basic discovery, how the new understanding of pathways, the new understanding of biology could become a drug. And that's what they're really good at. Taking basic discovery, finding a solution that this basic discovery may solve, and then bringing together the capital, the, the talent, and the expertise of actually developing drugs. And yes, they're not very good at taking it all the way into the clinic, but again, that's why we have big pharma at that point when you have some level of validation, being able to bring the capital and resources to bear to actually move it all the way through and ultimately benefit the patients. But the notion that the NIH is going to now in itself discover drugs and bring them to patients, I think is a bad mistake.